guys can see. Wow. So you'll notice that there are a lot of different size herring when you catch them and what I like to do is the big herring, keep those for your crab snares, your crab traps, you can cut them up and then the smaller size ones like this one is good for halibut and herring. Hey shout out to uh, Lost Anchovy for uh, giving me the tip off for this. Appreciate it. I'm also curious on how you guys store your herring. Do you vacuum seal it? Do you just put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in a freezer? Comment below. Alright guys, so there's some nets that are stuck there. It's pretty low tide now, so I'm gonna go in, get that herring, rescue the net. Uh, you know, don't want to pollute the waters here. So this net was most likely abandoned by its owner the previous night. It was really stuck on some rocks and it acted like a gill net as you can see here. So whenever it is actually safe for you to remove these type of nets, do so, it's better for the environment. Uh, there's a lot of herring stuck in here. There was almost about 30 pounds of herring. And uh, we removed the herring, we shared it with people on the dock and uh, disposed of the net properly. So give a big like for that net rescue. Follow me, subscribe. And I'm also on Instagram. I'm starting the halibut reports as well. So you can follow me there. Thanks guys.